All right, men, gather up. We now have a building from where we can conduct our investigation. Unfortunately, it would appear that our databases were severely corrupted. We need to start consolidating knowledge. I think I have a solution. While I was dropping a load of copper, I noticed several books for sale at the local shop. Some of which, contained ancient notes and engineering benchmarks that we could use to update our databases. That sounds like a good idea. Private Valentine, you will be responsible for the acquisition of this books. We should also build a research bench. This way Private Valentine can update all of our databases remotely. While he does that we should continue gathering currency and resources. I'm the biz manager and welcome back to Kanchi! Now, today my friends we heard the captain manager speak about consolidating knowledge and well, he's absolutely right, we can't build anything, our databases are severely corrupted, there is very little things that we can build, which means that we need to start doing some research, my friends. Last episode, we put this bad boy down, the small research bench, for which we need three building materials. Uh, we do have the money to buy those. I don't know if they are available or not. Private Valentine, how about you go? Well, you can you can get out of cutscene mode, okay? And no one is uh, walking in here. We all run. Only for cutscenes, okay? <laughs> Okay, so let's get inside and see if the trader has any type of building materials that we can use. And uh, it would appear that we are in luck. Ooh, let's see. One, two, three building materials. In fact, let's let's grab a few more. Loud motorcycle. Let's grab a few more, given that they have the uh, materials available. And let's grab a couple of these as well, I think. I, think, uh, I can buy it tomorrow. So let's go over there. Let's uh, Sergeant Carehead put that over there. And then Private Valentine, even that we are going to have our research bench ready to roll. How about we go out and buy some books as well so that we can start doing research during the night? How wonderful would that be? Let's see. Do you have books available to us? Please tell me. Okay. It does have books. Books are a little bit expensive, okay? But I think it's worth it. Uh, I mean, it's it's more than worth it given that the uh, without them, there is nothing we can do, right? Uh, we just spent pretty much all of our cats. That's fine. We can uh, go mine a little bit more and grab ourselves some more meows by tomorrow time. And then our databases are going to be updated, which is going to be amazing. Could you guys please hurry up? Like, could you guys please hurry up? Like, we have viewers waiting for us. And here we go. Private Valentine, open your inventory, please. Drop me all of those, like today, please. Let's go. And let's go into the research tree. Now, the more important things for me at this moment in time would be storage. Uh, so let's see if we can find that gear storage. Well, that's very important. And it's going to cost us nothing. Well, free stuff is the best stuff. 
So let's go. Gear storage. Item storage is free and nice. And now let's go to crafting, defenses, probably in industry, where we have the ore boxes for the copper. This is precisely what we want. Let's see. Can I put this one on top? Yes, I can. Cost me anything? Nope. Cost me nothing. I love when things cost nothing. And uh, yeah, you know what, let's uh, start uh, researching that as well. Iron plates, yeah, we cannot uh, make iron plates, so no thank you. Uh, yeah, sure, this is pretty good to make money, but we still need to find workers, and uh, we only... Uh we only want to have our own kind around us. We don't trust uh, fleshy beings too, too much. They can be treacherous. So we are not going to try... Uh, we are not going to trust them. Uh, and uh, this costs us books. Okay. Okay, we still have plenty of books. But this is the most important stuff for now. So let's focus on that. While our... Uh, our very lovely... Private Valentine does that, we are going to tell everybody to go back into mining so that we can earn some cats during the night. And then by tomorrow time, we probably are going to have a bunch of research already unlocked to us. Private Valentine is not the best. <gasps> Wait. Wait. Can I? Oh, yes, I can. Nice. Okay. This costs one building material, but trust me. Totally, totally, totally worth it. Uh, who has the stuff? Pre uh, Gearhead, come here. Build that, please. So, what happens? During the night time, uh, you get reduced visibility, which negative negativity, which affects your skills in a negative way. Okay? Uh, apologies, but uh, sometimes words fail me a lot. And, uh, yeah, by building a source of light, like a torch, post for example you can mitigate that now i have learned last season that unfortunately even though a campfire provides a light which we can see right now let's go over here let's put it down it costs nothing uh during oh, okay it's not night, night time yet but this provides light however this light does not count towards the uh negative uh night time skill you need to build a port uh, uh, a torch post right here and i think this is far enough that we can actually build one so if we go into torch post yes we can now what i mean by this is if you are too close to to a town it's not going to allow you as you can see it turned blue meaning that you are within town limits and you cannot build anything outside of your uh, owned uh, properties right this is our property we can build in it this is not our property meaning we cannot however because this is already far away enough we can now build that torch thing over there which means uh, come here sergeant Creahead, which means that during nighttime we will not be penalized in our skills like for example as we can see over here science level one working in darkness minus 43 percent if we move it over here that debuff is now gone now, my friends, of course, that working in light has its own disadvantages, meaning your skill, uh, your sneak skill will not be as good, given that these guys are in darkness, they are harder to see. These guys are in light in, in the middle of the night, meaning they can be seen from 50 billion miles away. I bet you that uh, on the other planet, that planet over there, people can see Sergeant Kierhead and Captain Manager. All right, our very first research has been complete. Gear storage. Uh, we are going to wait until we have the uh, copper. So, hey, by the way, why? Uh, tech. Tech, 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 tech. Uh, no. Do this one for no. Storage box. Item storage. Storage box. Physic. Oh, I missed the first, very, very first research, which was the most important one, which was this. Oh my lord, I can't believe... Oh, I should have... I knew it. I knew it, goddammit. Why do I go against my instincts? I always do this, my friends. In any case, in the morning we'll be able to automate the delivery process of materials to our base so that we no longer need to micromanage them around. All we have to do... Buy two iron... Two iron plates. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Nope, not that one. This one. Apologies, I almost did a doopsie. So, with this, we'll be able to de automatically deliver both the copper 
and the iron, which is pretty nice. Once again, like I said, meaning that we no longer need to micromanage uh, copper or okay. We no longer need to micromanage, or in this case, I no longer need to micromanage the um, resource uh, collection from the nodes. The uh, dudes are going to do that themselves. Good morning, Night City! It's morning time, time to go and sell a bunch of stuff, make a bunch of money, and, uh, well, go buy those iron plates so that we can uh, finally uh, get this fully automated. It's going to be absolutely wonderful, and I'm going to love every single moment because I can just set my dudes and forget I could go and make dinner right now, and uh, they would collect all the stuff for me. In the background, of course, that I, I am obviously not going to do that because angry bandits are a thing and they might come by and beat our skeleton servos and uh, that would be absolutely terrible for obvious reasons. And so babysitting is always required. Oh, please tell me that you have the iron plates that I'm looking for. Yes, you have. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. So let's start by selling a bunch of stuff. You can go in there. For now, I need two iron plates. Uh, let's buy a few more. Just out of safety, because we, are, we also want to build storage for other things. So let's buy that. Uh, sell that. And sell that. Okay, we came positive out of that. Uh, ordeal which is just fantastic now my friends now in the future like i said we need workers but in the future we will want to buy all the fabrics we can lay our ends to this thing is a living gold mine trust me fabrics and iron plates are a gold mine and i will teach you how in a few episodes once we got some workers uh, that actually can do any work for us in any case right now it is time to build so Sergeant Gearhead, please deposit those iron plates, one right there, and the other one right there. Hey, you! Shopping? Bro, this is no shopping mall, get the hell out of here, please. God damn it, these, these, these guys, they are very rude sometimes. Beautiful, my friends. Now that those two storages are built, we are going to build one final thing, and that is is a regular box storage if i can find that uh, we have metal chests however i want this the general storage boxes uh wait mm, i can't recall there is one one of these two offers a greater amount of storage and this one i believe is the one that offers the biggest amount of storage uh, i'm going to go for the metal chest as the one that offers right now a big amount of storage uh, let's go for that. Iron plates. Who has iron plates? I believe it is Sergeant Gearhead. Now, the reason I want to build this is quite simple. We want to get rid of our backpacks. Uh, they are not going to serve any purpose whatsoever. Um, for the time being, we need to ditch them so that we can mine more efficiently. Yeah, not the metal chest. God damn it. God damn it i i always think to myself well the metal chest it's a metal thingy and usually in games metal stuff tends to be the best stuff over you know wooden stuff quite often right apparently not this time yeah as you can see both storages offer different amounts of space now let's deposit all of our garbage except for that of course let's go you can go there, you can keep the stuff inside of your backpacks. Uh, so, that's precisely what we are going to do. And it's Private Cosman as well. Put your backpack right there. Now, without our backpacks, what we do is we select the people that we want working the node, right? And then we uh, shift, right click that, and as you can see, we now have a job operating machine, a copper resource. And as long as this thingy is active the uh, dudes are going to work that machine what is going to happen is once the machine is full one of the dudes is going to pick that ore and is going to deposit it right there so that the machine can continue working the same goes for you and for you private costman go work that now one piece of advice always keep 
two workers working this copper resource. The reason for that is eventually you are going to get, uh, we are, you are going to leave Squin, right? And uh, well, the you can you can chase them and the way the game works is once you move away far enough away from uh, an area uh, the game stops rendering it and processing it right and the game is divided in squares and chunks well that's pretty common for most games there there is one small issue however once a chunk gets unloaded and if your dudes are not present in one chunk, right? Um, smuggling check, show your gear. Okay, let me try to explain that better. Uh, the game will uh, despawn chunks that you or your dudes are not present on, okay? And if your dudes are present on, on one chunk, the game just deloads like uh, the stuff. The chunk is still there, but like uh, the uh, buildings and whatnot, they are not rendering, right? However, if a chunk is deloaded and you are not present, your dudes cannot load that chunk back which means uh, that for example this node which is in a different chunk than the city once your dude leaves the game is going to unload this chunk meaning your your dude can never come back however if you leave uh, one dude over here and the other dude picks up the stuff and leaves and drops it back to your base because there is one character present that uh, this chunk will never unload and therefore your dude can come back and continue working and uh, the same applies to this resource node right there and uh, to another resource node, I believe it's, it's this one, yeah. This one over here also applies to this one. So if you want to be working these nodes, uh, you always need to put multiple people on them, especially after, you know, you leave the city. Alright, so uh, the copper got full and Sergeant Kierhead, uh placed this stuff on his inventory, it's going to deliver it automatically to that container right there and then come back and do his business. Do we still have researches going? We do. Pretty cool. And uh, this way you are able to automate the uh, resource collecting process, making you a ton, and I, literal, I mean a literal ton of money, because a full box of copper is worth more money than the traders usually have, which means you can, like, uh, if you fill up this and the, both of these boxes, you can clean both of these traders every single day. Oh, but wait, there is more. And once we find a, <laughs> a robotic friend, we are going to pretty much empty this town of money every single day. But well, speaking about robotic friends, I didn't notice if we had any at the bar. So right now, who is working this private... Co uh, private Gossman is not exactly the most uh, friendly of people. You see, Gossman is a very introvert individual, so we don't want to send uh, her to go do any uh, recruiting missions. On the other hand, Corporal 80805 is far more sociable. So I think we are going to uh, request Corporal over here to go visit uh, the local bar, see if there is anyone uh, available to be recruited. We have a good chunk of cash. Now let's uh, tick this off So uh, in order to prevent Corporal from going and doing some mining. So let's see, at the local bars in Squeen, do we have anyone that we could technically recruit? Um, I don't think so. I believe this is where Ruka is. Oh, hello, Rain. Unfortunately, you are not going to accompany us this time, but Rain over here, it's quite a... Well, let me just tell you. Rain, Ken, uh, Ruka and Kang over here. Ruka is over here, and Kang is on the other bar. Uh, these three are just fan-freaking-tastic. I love them, and it's quite a shame that they are not going to accompany us, but uh, it's life. They are not mechanical, so uh, we cannot accept them. And, uh, well, no one is in here. Let's check the other bar. Let's see on the top. Anyone on the top? Uh, no. But uh, don't worry, if there is no one over here, there is other places we can check. We can check the hub, we can check several different uh, outposts uh, nearby, uh, which is something that we are going to do. So, Corporal, you would be best to run at your top speed. Let's see. Anyone over here? Bottom floor. Uh, absolutely no one. Oh, here's Kang. Hi, Kang. Uh, nope. Okay, so what we are going to do is quite simple. There is an outpost somewhere around here, and Corporal is going to go and look for it. Given that the uh, resource collection process is automated, we can just uh, glue our camera to Corporal over here and follow her on our adventures.
then would you look at that corporal is over already here now this is a very useful location because eventually like i said you are going to use fabrics and iron to um make more money and this is another place where you can actually grab it uh anyone in here oh come on game really you're going to do this my uh, do, do me like this now robotic friends are quite a rare might i add so it's only natural that we are being a little bit unlucky i suppose uh, let's see on the top floor any robotic fr yeah of course not well that's fine oh hello who are you knife from the tech hunters yeah this is also a place where you can hire mercenaries there is no shame in uh, in hiring mercenaries to go do dangerous st dangerous stuff uh, it's perfectly fine they exist in the game precisely for that uh, so yeah okay no robotic friends let's just take a look at the stock uh, of this trader before we leave let's see what do you have available to us let's see yeah as you can see plenty of plates and fabrics and even some um blueprints however we cannot use them in any, uh, anyway so let's not spend the money on that okay so corporal guess what time to go to the hub And we have arrived. Corporal was so fast, she phased through buildings. That's amazing. Corporal, you have special powers, I admit to that. Now, where is the freaking bar? It's right there. It's right there. Okay. Wow. Faster than Sonic. Let's see. Any... Of course not. Duh. Why would we have any robotic friends right there? Obviously. On the top, maybe? Nope nope now you want some free gear of course everybody lo loves free gear right oh hello logan uh ah come on where is the bar thug that usually got, likes to pick a fight with you it's, uh, well apparently not right there okay now sometimes there is a a, a a thug in the bar that likes to pick up a fight with you but uh, everybody gets up and kick their asses and uh, you can keep their loot yeah okay that's that's okay that's that's fine not in here today uh now in here are located the thieves guild these are very useful allies to have especially in the early game they can provide you with a plenty amounts of backpacks for very um uh cheap because uh, if you get them as an ally you get like 50 percent off uh, however, it, co it costs 10 grand. I don't know if we are going to do that or not. After all, they are they are not exclusive fleshy uh, characters, right? They accept everybody, including skeletons. They are more of a uh, ideology than a race. So maybe they could be considered allies. I don't know. We will see. But apparently, we were out of luck. Next, waypoint, Corporal. back once again here we go next bar like uh, we can always come back and check again if we are completely oh god damn it completely out of luck like uh yeah like i said very difficult very difficult to find um robotic uh friends uh yeah you have a, there is a you know a set amount of ro uh, character a character named a robot in the game but then you have like a, a chance for random um, uh, companions to uh, uh, spawn on several locations like for example this one over here even though it, it has a name it's like a random character and uh, well there is always a, sh a chance to get a robotic friend out of it uh, unfortunately those chances are pretty low and uh, we did not get uh, what we wanted that's okay, and uh, this bar has no trader. Oh, the trader is right there. Okay, 
Okay, well, let's see what uh, this guy over here has for sale, and then, well, we'll have to come back. Now, this location is actually pre Oh, right there. It's pretty nice, because uh, there is another ch uh, shop over there. Okay, even as uh, research materials. Okay, we are not going to buy anything right now, but... Uh, uh, yeah, now this thing, this location is a pretty good one because in here is the only known location in the uh, vicinity that actually has a skeleton repair bed. However, these are pretty pricey, as you can see, so uh, we'll be using them sparely. Uh, we can also buy uh, replacement limbs over here, as we can see, and robotic repair kits. Uh, let's buy one right now because why not? And uh, yeah, if we ever re need to replace anything, this is the place to come. Now, in the very close vicinity, there is no more places where we can ch uh, check. There is like uh, no more waypoints anywhere. Close to, there is like uh, one right here. And that's pretty much it. All of this is Holy Land territory, places that we don't want to go. Uh, this is Ivor territory, places where we are not going to find robots. Um... Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, this is our luck. Let's go back home. We'll adapt our uh, plan to our existing circumstances. Alright, Private, given that you are coming back to base, guess what? It's time to go back to work and keep making us some cash. Now, let's see, how much have we... Um, oh, give me a moment. There we go. How much have we accumulated over time? 45 units of copper. No. Oh my lord, there is a spider on my wall. All right, now there is a splatter on my wall. Let's continue. What were we talking about? Oh, yeah. Storage. We have accumulated 50 pieces of copper. That's that's quite a lot, actually. We can make a bunch of money from it. Now, the iron I want to accumulate... Like, iron is not worth a lot, okay? And uh, it's pretty useful for a future training that we are going to do, but we are going to need a lot, and I mean a lot of it. Uh, so we better just start accumulating. In any case, we still have a bunch of books about we continue doing some research. Um, I would like to get smithing stuff done. Oh, indoor lighting. That one is nice. Let's Let's get that one. A training, training very, very useful. So let's get those things going. Core, tech level 2. What do we need? Small houses. So guess what? We can do that. Let's get tech level 2 as well. Let's get that, because why not? That we don't need for now. We don't need for now. Farming, cooking, we don't care. We don't eat, so that's fine. Uh, industry, iron plates we cannot make, so that's another thing that we don't care. Farming, we don't care. Smithing, yep, this we care. Oh, and the books. Let's buy more. And uh, yeah, we want to get these thingies uh, going. So Private Valentine, first I want to uh, assign this as your job. So let's slow down the game just a little bit. Um, yeah. Now let's see. Do you have more books for me, please? Oh, yes, you have. That's all that I want. Now, even though our house has uh, despawned, I can still press the uh, thingies. If I can find the copper one. Come on. I know it's around here somewhere. God damn it, really? I can... I can... This is the iron one, and the copper one is right here. There we go. Some... Uh, some things that must be done, but oh well. Uh, that uh, just net us a ton of money. I didn't see how much money we made, but uh, well, I'm pretty sure it was a ton. Now that we have all those, those books, we can uh, come back. Oh wait, I didn't see if you had ninja thingies. Ninja backpacks. Completely forgot about that. That's another... Yep. Thieves backpacks, that's what I meant. Uh, now, why do we want this? Because of this. As you can see, medium backpack. A bunch of negative debuffs. This one has a small combat skill debuff. But uh, just... Yeah, it's just that. Comparable. Yeah. 
and even has more income risk reduction. They are very expensive, but they are like you don't want anything else but this. Okay, you don't want to use this. You want to use this. It's that simple. So, yeah, let's buy those. And uh, the th the small ninja backpacks are even better because they don't have a no debuff at all, and they are pretty useful for archers. Um, but yeah, right now that's it. We spend a ton of, a ton of cash, but that's totally totally fine. Back to um, a researching private Valentine. Please update everybody's databases. Oh, and by the way, we are going to add these two researches to the queue. And uh, for now, that's pretty much all the researches that we can do. On this level, we then need to upgrade our uh, research bench uh, after tech level 2. But we are going to just do all of this, so... Alright, my friends, one research after another. Uh, Sergeant Kierhead, it was exactly with you that I wanted to speak with. Now, Sergeant Kierhead is, as the name implies the house engineer and uh, repairman and stuff like that. Uh, so, given that we have uh, done so many researches, um, we would do best to start putting some of those researches to use. You see, there are plenty of resources that we want to accumulate uh, if the traders have them, we want to buy them. Uh, those resources, well, we need storages, specific storages for them. Uh, let's see, what kind of things can we start accumulating? Because we need iron plates. Yes, thank you. The hello, game. Uh, okay, it's one of those things. You don't ask, you don't tell. Um, oh well, I, I, some, I, you know, I get confused sometimes. Now, we want to accumulate iron plates. Uh, we want to accumulate building materials and we want to accumulate... Now, uh, um, and we want to accumulate fabrics and leathers. Now, you will have to excuse my Tetris, it is absolutely terrible. However, I know that I can fit all of these things in here and uh, that my dudes can still pass. Oh, wait, I have to undo this one. This one must be built first. There we go. And then we build the other one. Instead of creating an S, uh, like a ginormous maze, let's just make it more streamlined. Building materials. Iron plates, I know the dudes can pass through there, so that's fine. And uh, let's see, can we start making uh, fabrics? Fabrics would be uh, beautiful as well. Uh, however, I don't think we can. Hmm. No, not yet. That's fine, that's totally fine. And uh, now, another thing that we want is in smithing, I'm pretty sure, or in crafting perhaps. Yep, we want one of these. This is part of our money-making operations. Um, they are not that expensive, at least at low levels, six plates. Uh, now, why do we want to accumulate plates? Precisely because of this, um, in order to build and to use for the future. So, smithing right there, and then colluding bench, which also costs plates, as you can see. Right there. Okay, I can't fit that one. Uh, let's try like this. Now, sometimes these limits can be a little bit finicky. Alright, including bench right there, and then we put the uh, leathering tan bench somewhere around here. Or at least I will try, if not, we can always deconstruct and reconstruct things around here. This is part of the upgrades that we want to make, and of course, obviously, one of this, right in here, and one of this right in here. Alright, we'll confirm all this, and Sergeant Gearhead, you are going to start with these storages right here, because they only cost one plate, and we only have three, uh, which means these are the only things that we can actually build. Alright, here we go. Sergeant Gearhead, please stop right now. I gave him the engineer work order, just to make things a little bit simpler for myself. Now, the cool thing about this uh, uh, order right here is that the character will pick up the materials, from the storage and deliver them automatically to the respective build orders. Now, we are going to request Sergeant Gearhead over here to uh, move towards uh, the way station over here in order to buy a few more materials. It's night time, uh, the shop over here is closed and emptied out of all the useful things, so let's go grab uh, stuff where it is. Oh, also my friends, 
one secret, okay? This, I don't know why. I don't know. This is what I like to call the uh, free meat campsite. Why? Because there, are, there is always free meat in here. Always. You pick up the meat, okay? You will see. One day I will show you that this meat will respawn right there. Uh, you pick up the meat, okay? You go away, you despawn this place, come back a couple of days later, and there is meat right there once again. Someone puts their meat over there and keeps forgetting about it, and I don't know, I don't, I don't know why. Makes no sense, but uh, it is always very useful. So uh, if you are in a pinch and you need some something to eat, you now know where you can go grab it. Not our case, so uh, let's buy as many as we can. Uh, uh, well, maybe not as many. Let's see. I want to fill the top part so and then I want to buy some more of these and I'm even going to buy that our dude is extremely heavy right now but that's fine we are going to pray to the gods of Kenshi that no hungry bandits try to attack us and because I sold the meat even if they do it's their loss all right our trade entourage is back let's put all the stuff in its proper place like so and now let me put back on one time speed as we can see i gave him the um, job command again and he picked up the iron plates and put it into the building order now unfortunately they don't take advantage of their backpacks in order to carry more materials but oh well at least you know you can set up set it and forget it eventually they are going to put all the stuff in there you know it's one of those things and uh, because of the order of things once sergeant Kierhead is done building all of the stuff i know perfectly well that he is going to go back to work so now let's remove his backpack and just let him do his thing oh wait 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 wait, wait. before we go we also have um unlocked one new research so let's go over here, which because I'm pretty certain, yep, that we now have the fabric chest, which is beautiful. Come on, put it right. Uh, okay, right there. I got confused for a moment, uh, or in this case, the game got confused for a moment. All right, that's all that we wanted for now, because uh, like I said, I want to accumulate as much fabric as I can, because I'm going to go through that stuff like is no one's business. And here we go, my friends. We have completely uh, built all the upgrades that we wanted for now. Let's ask Sergeant pa Valentine over here to go... Well, not that floor, please. Uh, I don't want the trader to be mad at me. Let's go over here and let's start buying everything that we can. Let's see. Do we have copper? Yes, we have. Okay, so let's see. 3k and now... Oops. Oh, 3k and now we have 11k. Pretty cool. Now, when it comes to the fabrics, let's go right there. Let's pick up the fabrics. Let's pick up all the fabrics and buy them. Let's pick up all the building materials, buy them, and uh, let's buy all of these. And I think that for now that's it, right? Uh, the leather will come later, right now. Hmm. Right now we don't have storage, so. Oh, no, 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 we are being attacked. That's terrible. Back off, asswipe. Well, pretty brave for a bunch of nobodies like yourselves. Like, uh, it's not like the Angry Bandits are that much of a challenge. It's just that uh, they are more. We are less. <laughs> right? Their stats are comparable to ours. So it's always... With them is a numbers game. We have more, you win. They have more, you lose. In this case, we really don't want to fight them. Uh, so... We are just going to run like robotic cowards that we are towards the guards. Hey, hey, don't you dare, okay? Run away now. Face the consequences of your actions. Guards, save these robotic servos and, um, yeah. There you go. Pretty cool. Now, given that the uh, bandits have decided to attack us, let's just uh, do one quick thingy. Is just that, uh, you see, I, um forgot one thing the level one research bench cannot be upgraded uh 
it needs to be deconstructed and reconstructed as a level 2. However, the level 2 can be upgraded uh, into the other levels. It's, um, yeah, it's just, it's just this one that can't. So what we are going to do uh, is uh, we are going to remove all the books from there so that we don't lose them. And um, I, we, you would not lose them. They would drop on the floor. But still, I don't trust the game with such an important and expensive artifact. So right now we go over here. We come on. How oh, the hell do I dismantle? I completely forget. Uh, oh, right there. Dismantle this stuff on the floor. Captain Manager, could you please pick this up? Thank you so much. He's super kind of you. Then we go back in here. Tech bench level two. Rotate the. Oh, god damn it! One second. One second. Sorry. Apologies. Completely forgot about that. Let's try this again, shall we? Attack level 2. And there we go. As you can see, it fits perfectly. It's beautiful. Everybody loves a good research bench. There we go. And then we place one of these right somewhere. Oh, come on. Maybe we'll do one right there. Another one right there. And bam. Now... All we have to do is go upstairs, put the stuff in there, and then this, this, and this in there. Okay, everybody can go back to work, or in this case, maybe not. Let's wait for um, Captain Manager. What the hell are you doing? Building? No, 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 no. I'm back here. Let's uh, wait for the bandits to be defeated. They are defeated. Everybody can go back to uh, doing your thing, and... Uh, Private uh, Gearhead, why are you not... Oh, you are building. Okay. Alright, update package ready. Time to send it to the group. Captain, could you please verify if you have received the update package? Please stand by. Yes, I... Affirmative the update. Confirmed. I received the package and I'll install it now. All right, my friends, with the first update package delivered, meaning tech level one is done, we now have a bench of tech level two, which means that we can now go into more intricate uh, researchers. Like, for example, we can get the tech level three. However, that doesn't really help us out too much. Uh, in here, we can get a few extra recipes for the first aid kit bench. However, we are mechanical and therefore we don't need any of these except for the amp based fabric. But this is for the future once we have a base so that we can make our own fabric. Uh, so that doesn't really matter too much. These things are all for the future. So they can say in there future, future, uh, future, 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 future. All of these are base buildings, not something that we really need right now. So this is uh, fle for fleshy creature creatures. We really don't care too much. Uh, like these things of farming, once again, don't care. This, if we want to make money in the future, but for now, not really important. Pretty much none of this is important. Let's go into industries. Powered stone refinery, not right now, not right now. Storage boxes, crafting. Now, this is more uh, interesting. Uh, we get a storage for leather, armor plating, fabric chest. I thought I already had that one. Eh, man, whatever. And skins. Skins is also very important because you use skins to convert them into leather. And so if we can start accumulating leather that we find in the world, it's pretty cool. So let's just pause the game so that I can reorient the things later. Uh, storage. Yep. No, smithing, smithing, yeah, this thing we kind of want, even though we don't really have anyone that is capable of doing this. Uh, yeah, we kind of want to get this thing rolling. Uh, if we could, getting this one also roll it, rolling would not be terrible. Crossbow bolts in order to craft, uh, I mean... Sure, but... It's not for right now. Weapons melting, not for right now. Leather crafting, uh, leather armor crafting is kind of interesting. So let's get that one going. Uh, heavy weapons, meh. It's kind of meh, you see. Uh, I would rather get these things going first, like the training apparatus thingy. 
uh, better trading dummies, assassins, thievery, and all the books are gone. Once morning rolls, we might be able to buy more books, but for now we'll get all of these tags going, which is pretty nice if you ask me. Alright my friends, it's uh, morning time, we have mined a few things dur during the night, and uh, now it's time for us to uh, make some profit and buy some books. So let's go over here into the trader, and uh, let's trade, let's see, what do you have to, f to sell us? No ninja backpacks, which is, well, less than ideal, I suppose. So, money making uh, things first. Now the iron, as I say, we, as I said, we don't sell, uh, because we need it. Come on, pick up everything. There we go, we just made some profit. Now we go in here, and we go like, bam, bam. God damn it, this, can I buy like this? Yes, I can. There we go, 23 books that is going to allow us to, um, um, you know, do a little bit more research. And by the way, let's buy another one of these, given that we are already here, we can place it over here in our storage chest for later use. Uh, now maybe, yeah, let's buy one more of these. We need one backpack per um, character in order for, do, for us to do the uh, strength training so uh let's buy those because we still don't have enough uh backpacks for everybody and i'm sorry about all the noise that it's uh going outside it's a um, rush hour and everybody is in a rush honking their horns and being just mean to each other on the safety of their vehicles oh just one thing my friends um technically speaking we could start buying a few maps to uncover new locations and we are going to do that in the future but for right now i kind of want to focus my money um in money making uh, opportunities and uh get getting all the resources that i need all of that besides i kind of know where pretty much everything is it's not like i need the map or anything but uh yeah in a few episodes maybe for now we have other things to focus and uh, by the way since we are already here let's buy all the stuff that we can from the trader let's see the trader has not yet restocked because of course it hasn't we have been in here probably late late last night so but well my friends let's just select a few more um Research things uh, that we might uh, find useful. Let's do this one. This is the mod to get uh, all of these things uh, that will help you train uh, your skills. Uh, we probably are just going to use the, the toughness uh, device because the, like strength, athletics, it's fine to level up. It's not difficult. It just requires one hour of your time and you can level up to level 50 no problem. Toughness, it's a pain in the butt to uh, to get, so uh, we're probably just going to use the mod for the toughness thingy. Um, what the hell are you... Get the hell out of my house! I bought this house for privacy and you guys are uh, like... Whatever. Doesn't really matter. And uh, yeah, we could get pets, but we don't really need them. Uh, tech level 3, because why not? It costs a bunch of books and we have a bunch right now, so let's do that. Uh... Yeah, like, <laughs> we really don't need a lot of other things. Let's get the grades, the heavy weapons, and uh, yeah, that's all the books. So, we have just added a bunch of additional researchers. It's going to take a little while until uh, Private Valentine gets all of this uh, research done. He's already level 30 in science, but uh, this ma the ma captain manager of here is already le level 50 in laboring, which is incredible. But oh well. Uh, now, my friends, um, we kind of are in a, a little bit of a pickle. You see, in order for you to do your training, because, uh, you know, Kenshi early game is very interesting in comparison to other games, right? You need to be very careful and you need to do a lot of grinding. After the grinding is done, you can start playing the game pretty much. That's like the way I see it. Uh, however, you know, pretty much like uh, everybody else, I would like to avoid doing grinding multiple times. So you kind of just want to have everybody ready. Like uh, you want to have your team assembled and then you start doing the stat grind because everybody will do it at the same time, right? And uh, that, therefore you only waste one hour instead of one hour per character, right? So we 
kinda need to start finding a few extra friends before we can do any kind of stat grinding. However, we'll have to see what Captain Manager over here decides to do with his team. But well my friends, this episode is already long enough so I think we are going to call it here. So, with all of that said my friends, I hope that you have enjoyed this episode and that you are enjoying the series so far. If you are, please consider subscribing and help the channel grow. But in the meantime, this is the base manager signing out. Mm, bye bye.